Good afternoon. I'm Dawn Casavant, Vice President of External Affairs with Haywood Healthcare. Uh, just filling in for Wynn Brown this afternoon on this Friday, February 18th, and going to share just a few updates with you all. In terms of our COVID prevalence, we've seen some good improvements over the past week. Our community average is down 41 points, and I think the week prior was down 59 points from uh, currently at 46 per 100,000. If you recall, our suppression rate is 10 per 100,000, but we are still moving in the right direction, which is great news. Our cumulative positivity rate is 9.2% versus the state rate of 4.12%. So still higher than the state, but directionally correct. And our seven day average percent positive is 11.32% versus the state rate of 3.09. So all good, moving in the right direction. We have a ways to go, but we will take it. A couple of announcements. Uh, one is a request to staff of Haywood Healthcare relative to linens. Uh, how our linens work is that we are charged by the weight of our linen. So the weight of the linen that we receive needs to mirror the weight of the linen we give back. And when it doesn't, we are charged per pound for that difference, that deficit. So it's really important that we are returning linens. Uh, some things you can do is only order the linen that you need for one week. Remind staff to please refrain from taking home scrubs or storing them in lockers and refrain from overstocking. It's more of a housekeeping issue. See what I did there. Some announcements. Uh, February is Black History Month. Three Pyramids Inc. and Haywood Healthcare have partnered to host the Tea Time ser Speaker Series, Power to Heal, that will air on Monday, February 28th at 6 p.m. And there's a link embedded uh, to register to participate in that uh, viewing. Also, another positive announcement, uh, visitation uh, will resume on Monday, February 21st. So that will be plus a plus one healthy visitor. Patients, inpatient, outpatient, or uh, outpatient services may have someone with them. If you're inpatient, you can have one healthy visitor at a time, does not need to be the same person. So folks can take turns coming in uh, to visit with you. So we're so happy as I'm sure you are to have that service return. Uh, as far as a President's Day hours go, Haywood Medical Group primary care practices will be closed. However, Tully Urgent Care, excuse me, Tully Walk-In Care and Haywood Urgent Care will be open with holiday hours, which are 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Monday. Another announcement, our surgical pavilion site work is scheduled to begin on or about February, February 28th. And this will include items uh, such as fencing. You'll see some fencing going up. You'll see some heavy equipment on site. There'll be some drilling and blasting uh, that will take place and all in, in preparation of construction of the new uh, six bay surgical pavilion on the Haywood campus. So that's exciting as well. Also within this email, uh, you will see a, a shout out to uh, Jillian Hillman, who is our wellness coordinator. Last week, we celebrated Random Acts of Kindness Day and we had some activities take place and staff are asked to log into their Haywood Cares account to check out the social wall and see posts from your peers. And she's doing a great job with all of these wellness initiatives, including Meditation Monday. So each Monday, make sure you open your email and you log in to take part in a brief meditation. And one final announcement is that the monoclonal antibody treatment taking place on the Athol campus is scheduled to end on Tuesday, February 22nd. And those are our updates for this week. We hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and thank you for all you do to support us and to keep us on our journey to be one of the best community health systems in America. Have a great weekend.